Good morning, morning people. Whoa, we got some hair today. I'm surprised my hair's not grayer after yesterday. Good morning. It's a morning. It's something. What is going on up here? Y'all can tell I don't look in the mirror before I... I don't even look at the camera before I get on stream. We just click buttons and, and make hairdos. It's cool by me. <laughs> How are y'all this morning? I'm present and accounted for. Are y'all present and accounted for? I'm guessing so if you're here. That that's All I know is I'm physically here. Outside of that, I got nothing. Okay, so the forecast is saying two or three feet of snow. That's much taller than my dog. Uh, I'm in shorts, like permanently now, I think. So sorry about that, Rewiz. Is that a new shirt? No, I've had this one. This is one of my, uh, this one's uh, <laughs> like my, uh, my one cockfighting shirt that I've worn before with like the big like fireworks looking ones. This is this is the more subtle uh, cactus uh, cactus version of the cockfight. <laughs> so I like this shirt, and it, it's time for short sleeves. I've been wearing long sleeves mostly. Um, so hang on a second. Uh, so yeah um it's gonna be 70s 80s for a while now so please measure the snow and stack dogs i think that's an official measurement right that's a u.s measurement i'm pretty sure how many uh dog tails but this just means we're gonna get into thunderstorms before long that's all this means here is like it's just gonna bomb out pretty soon have a you know we'll lead right up into to the mother's day tornado season so it's not all it's not all fun and games one dog plus ear snow last month that's legit that's a lot of snow mm. so yeah this is weather chat welcome we do this pretty frequently here if you're new to the channel uh, we always we always start the day with a good weather chat because, you know, it's always hard to say, hey, how are you, how are you today? And let's topic like we don't topic here. So good morning, Tessa. So yesterday seemed to go well. We're going to talk about that. I feel like I agree with that. <laughs> um, the one thing. So here's the weird situation. Is this a stream for pens? Yes. So I made a pen and I started selling it yesterday. And we're going to talk about that right now. Good morning, Coco. But Suspenser, we talk about pens. Um, so our, our nib dilemma, right? So, sorry, I, I need to turn this on mute or something. But I don't want to. Um, so you, I, I very well, very much explained the nib, the nib situation. And we had like 99 nibs. The issue is with the variety of pens we offer, all pool all from coming from one nib pool, right? So we're trying to track okay, broad, medium, medium, fine, extra fine, broad, medium, just on and on and on and on. Rollerball or at least gel, um, both and fountain. So, and pencils. So, like, literally all the things. Pog, not gop. Actually, I like that. That's a pretty cool name. Um, so, how are we going to deal with that? As best we could manually. So, the problem is y'all are beasts, and the orders went in faster than we could keep up. It's not, not a huge problem. But it's like... Me and Brian were on a call for about an hour, like, you know, when we turn it on, fight, figure out the problems. We had one problem I will get to in a minute. Um, <clears throat> so <laughs> we, <laughs> we got to a point where like, turn them off, turn them off, put them all to back order. <laughs> it was like, Brian kept yelling at me. He's probably watching this morning. Hey, Brian. Brian was like, you're, <laughs> he was making fun of me because I it was my responsibility to allocate the number of nibs for each size, right? That was my job, right? Because I'm the pin guy. Um, 
So my nib allocation was proving to be incorrect from the jump. And he's like, what are you doing? I thought you knew. <laughs> I mean, he was just joking with me. It was, it was really funny. But then it got to a point where it's like, okay, we got to turn extra fine off for back, put extra fine orders to back order. Um, yes, it's totally the Lucy chocolate factory scene. I will probably put that on my Instagram or something where she just starts shoving it in her mouth. Like that's, except I would die from the nibs, but, um, and I'd rather sell them. Um, so then, you know, by the time we got that going, we're, as soon as we figured that out, we're just like, turn them all off. Like we get, once we realized we were like 30 orders behind, it was just like, zoop, we got to, got to get them all off. So I'm going to have a moment of clarity when I get to like that, you know, 80 order point of fulfillment going, huh, <laughs> where's that medium nib I need kind of thing. So it's going to be fine though. Um, you know, I might have to send out a few emails. Well, who knows? Like I haven't even started, started them uh, yet. I'm going to start today as soon as we're done, but we're not, we're not going to go super long today because we did that uh, Tuesday and now I have to have to ship. So that wasn't a problem. That was just like, man, this is going crazy. And hey, we were happy for it. <clears throat> um, big picture, we're ecstatic. The one problem we found was when you build a like a shopping site, like on Shopify, and you're listing products, and say we make a product, the pen, the pen product, the icon, right, the the modular fountain pen. So then you can tag that product so you can adjust things as needed a little bit easier on the back end. The problem creeped up on the tool and um, barrel piece, um, the separate orders. Is there a way to see what order number we are in line? Yeah, I can, I can do that for you. Um, so the barrel and sleeve combos and then the barrel and sleeve tool combo, they ended up with a field on there for nib selection, which is a problem because you don't get a nib with that. And it made people think, am I getting a nib with that? Some people probably think they're getting a nib with that. So I'll just have to deal with that if that's the case. Um, a lot of people emailed saying, hey, there's a problem. And the problem is we couldn't fix it while the site's getting hammered. Um without risking something else so we had to leave it we just had to eat that for a little bit um so that was our only problem um so we'll see we'll see after that um so yeah when i start fulfilling today we'll figure it out uh figure out what we do um see how many orders i can get out today so i had a backlog of orders that i went to fill yesterday and i got all the way up to the point of the first fountain pen um, so do y'all want to know, no, the person who got the first fountain pen was an icon. There's sometimes in this chat, I don't see them in here right now, but my, my list isn't always accurate. Do y'all want to guess the first color combination? It was not Andrew. It was not Kate. It was not Inkwell Monster. Anyone want to guess the, uh, the first color combo? Cyan, purple, no. Black and green, no. Here, I've, if you guess it, I'll, 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 I'll win you something. Here, here's an Apica. Here's the Apica B6. So you got to tell me the barrel and the insert color. Cyan and black, Glantium, that's it. And I know it wasn't you because it's uh, Chris Hokinson, if he's in here, maybe. So Glantium, email me. You win this notebook. So for you new listeners, I had some new listeners this morning. I give away a lot of stuff, a lot of stationery, a lot of notebooks, a lot of pens. So yes, it was cyan and black was the number one order. Uh, not in quantity. I haven't looked at the uh, ratio of you know what the uh, what was what sold the most, but the first order was cyan and black. And I don't see Chris in here right now, but. Uh, he is sometimes in the chat. So Glantum, you need to email me your stuff. Hello, Ru Kaisa. I, I still haven't figured out how to say your name like quickly. My hair is really bothering me, y'all. I was banging my head before we went live trying to get uh, trying to get in the, mer the mood. Purple with cyan. Yeah, that's the play. Cyan and blue. Yep. 
I found this stream in a Norwegian Facebook group of FP nerds. That's amazing. We have Norwegian listeners and Norwegian fans, so welcome. And when I do giveaways, I ship them all over the world, so you should enter the giveaways when I do. Brad, I thought you said on last stream there was going to be a three-pack of sleeves. Did I get that wrong, or is that coming later? You did not get that wrong. I said that. We opted at the last minute to not do that yet. It will be coming later. We were just trying to go tool single set, no tool single set, and then buy as many sets as you want. Um, if we do do a three pack, it'll be moderately cheaper, but not like you're not going to save like a bundle. We're not Geico or whichever one does that. Um, save a bundle. Like you'll save a few bucks. But yeah, I did say that. We decided against it like right before we, like in the hour before we, we turned it up. So thank you for holding me to that. Whoops. I spelled that wrong. All right. So, um, those were our, that was our main issue. That one screen um, being a pain. It's easy to fix on our side, but it just could, ended up confusing people. But it's not a big deal in the end. Um, I didn't check this morning if Brian got it off. I'm sure he did. 100 bits. Thank you, Snow Daniel. I appreciate the love. So on the blog today, we have Sarah's G2 limited edition barrel review, which someone just posted that they really like that. Uh, DP LaFole, Patrick, like that. That's a very cool, um, that's one of the better G2 barrels, like for 11 bucks. If you're a G2 fan, plus you can switch out other refills into that. I've had the, like the gunmetal gray one forever. It's really good. Hobby, hi, good morning. I got your uh, email, got your address changed. Hopefully you saw that. Currently thinking purple barrel cyan and silver sleeves. That sounds like a plan. Um, so yeah, you don't have to rush out and get these. Brian and I are still um, exchanging texts this morning on how to source nibs faster. So um, I've, I've talked to a couple people. They're, they don't have any stash to give up. So it'll, it'll get there. It'll get there. Yeah, you forget you had one of those G2 barrels. They've been around for a long time, and they'll mix in a few colors here and there and uh, it's just it's good like it's a legitimately good product when is the line of inks coming that's designed to match each sleeve oh my gosh oh my gosh where do you get your jovo yeah edison so edison's the u.s distributor and right now uh, yovo is backlogged but they were only saying one to two weeks backlog but we feel like we're at that point now and we want our nibs <laughs> <laughs> Rusty Cap, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. <laughs> Joe has been backlogged always. Well, not when we started this. But as long as we don't get into like months of delays, which no one has said that, we're like in we're like in short delays, which is fine. We did try to up our order size, so we'll see how that goes if they'll take that like on the fly. But we're working on it. We're actively working on it every day. Um, trying to figure out what our options are to, to get them. Just to fill the orders quicker. So that's pretty much it. Spoke pen inks, yes, please. That would be, uh, that would be something. That would be something. I don't, I don't know that I could swing that. That's a lot. <laughs> I'm Never say never, right? Maybe one day. You know, me and Brian are in, in it's sport, spoke corporate headquarters, and we have an ink testing team. And when we make our own inks, right? Spoke HQ, you know, it's, you never know. You never know what could happen. So thank you all for all your support yesterday. It was amazing. Um, it exceeded our expectations, I think, pretty clearly. Like, um, we were very happy with yesterday's support and yesterday's uh, processes, I guess, is the way everything pretty much worked as intended, minus the one, uh, the nib thing where it didn't belong. But uh, yeah, pretty happy. The site generally worked, didn't have many like technical complaints. Um, aren't you in Spoke Corporate HQ right now? I don't know, that might be uh, Brian's uh, 
Brian's bonus room in his house might be spoke corporate HQ um, for, you know, that's where a lot of the assembly goes. Um, oh, and to answer, like we were talking about what would Brian's, uh, what color Brian's pen, spoke pen would be. I was right. He sent me a picture of a blue and gray one. So I, I nailed that when we were talking about if, if Brian made one of these pens, he sent me a text and it was a blue cap, cap gray barrel, which is another cool thing we like to tease that you can't have <laughs> since we have all the parts we can make whatever we want. <laughs> so Spencer, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Love the stream title today. I'm burnt out. <laughs> I didn't have anything. <laughs> so we just went with fancy title. Like you can tell, I can tell that I like look tired, like I'm smoked, <laughs> right? Uh, what's my pen color combo? I will show you. But it's basically it's a uh, cyan, um, cyan barrel orange sleeve lime green grip, which you're not allowed to do yet. So that's mine, cyan, orange. But then I cheated and did green grip. We're, we're not letting people order mix, mix, mix and match yet. Maybe in the future we'll see. Today it was, it was or yesterday, that would have been far too much to deal with. I like the new spoke website layout. Again, that was a, like a last minute change. Like the night before, Brian's like, this just isn't working for me. And I was like, yeah, I kind of see that. And he's like, he spent a bunch of time. Like, Brian should get all the credit for Spoke Everything. Like, I'm just glad to be along for the ride. He does. He's a superstar. He really is. He's just quiet. So he's not going to be on here ranting and raving. One day I'll get him on camera. One day we'll do a Q&A with Brian. And we'll ask him uh, what he thinks about my hair. Because it's impressive compared to his. Did purple and lime green? Yeah, that's great. Wonderful color combination called unobtainium. Yes. So that's the, uh, hopefully you'll be able to make some unobtainium models some point down the line. I, that's not even on the radar right now. Um, but we will have that capability maybe later once things get, you know, like smooth, smooth going with all the hype around the fountain pen, I may be able to grab one of the regular spoke pens. That's for sure. I think we're going to have some new roadies um, next week, something like that next week or the week after. I know Brian's prioritizing roadies. Now that we have the fountain pen launch out of the way, uh, we've been out of roadies for a while. I snuck a few in. I did an inventory before we started selling the fountain pens and I had like five extra roadies. I snuck them in and people got mad that the, those got turned on and they didn't know. It was like, well, I had like one, you know, of a color and like, I'm just not gonna let it sit here. It needs to go up on the site and anywho. <clears throat> Spoke table at the Atlanta pen show. Yeah, we could totally do that. Build your own at pen shows. Yeah, like we would be all over that, but probably just like a, like an Atlanta type thing. Because we're both both in the south and we can drive. I don't we'll see. That's like a one step beyond where I'm thinking like future shows, like what we could do. San Francisco, I'm not coming to San Francisco this year. I don't see that happening. I'm not gonna be ready to travel by the summer. It's just I'm in no rush. No rush. But um the spoke stuff would do great in San Francisco, so maybe the next year. We'll just have to figure out how to like how to do that. Also want an alma mater one, but there isn't a dark blue for me yet. Yeah, I don't know. We got to look at dark blue. We've done some dark er blues, but we've never done like what would be like a blue black blue, which would be cool. Well, I, we'll have to see about that. I'm, I'm not sure. Looking forward to just spending some more time with family this summer. Exactly, Stretch. And drivable. So, like... That's kind of one, like, I'm going to take some time off in end of June for a few days and go, like, an hour away to a lake and sit, right? <laughs> That's what I'm looking forward to doing. <laughs> Hi, Brad. Just received my gold spot Kaveco Transparent Classic Review. Thanks to the review. That's exactly the color I'm talking about. That is an, that color is better than I expected. 
not that I expected it to be bad, but man, that was uh, like, I don't know why there wasn't a pen of that color already for Craveco. Um, it's dark and it's translucent. Oh, that was, that's a really good color. Good job. Hope you like it. For the first time in a little year, I'm optimistic about being a travel. Really some good friends in San Francisco. Yeah. I'm going to take a flight sometime. Got my first shot. Looking forward to a show this fall. Don't care which one. Yeah. Actually, yeah, maybe if I get, like, maybe if I get vaccinated before then, I might reconsider my stance, but I'm in no hurry. Like, there's no need to rush. So, um, I'll take my one hour away lakeside vacation. You know, it's practically a staycation. Um, so, we're working on that right now. And it'll be for, like, three days, four days, so... <laughs> not flying anywhere um probably before the summer so who knows who knows um yeah growing optimism is the largest side effect so far my first dose that's hilarious that's a fact too that's really smart that's funny um so i didn't have any complete plans today i do have a couple things to share at least got, I have one new thing to share. I have I have something else new to share, but I didn't want to share it today because I don't know if I'm embargoed or not. But I got uh, Staples is up to something, up to something new. They FedExed me a box. It's, I left it in the other room because I didn't want y'all to tempt me into opening it because y'all know how I am. Just open the thing, open the thing, and deal with the embargoes after you read the letter and the embargo last after you show them products. Um, they're up to something new. They're like PR active right now. Yeah, Staples. They are like, like their PR person is like all up in me, like what, like getting this box in my hands, scheduling a call to discuss what's in the box, figuring out advertising plans and like things like that. But I haven't even opened the box yet myself because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to be tempted. <laughs> Twitch alerts are slow, 20 minutes late. They should check that you're going to follow the embargo before you send you something embargoed. They didn't say it was, but I ha also haven't clarified whether it is or isn't, right? So that's if I if, if I could just um, if I had some time this week to like follow up and say, hey, can I share this stuff? Um, I would have done that already, but I'm a little busy this week. So maybe we'll I'll, after I talk to them tomorrow, we'll we'll probably open it on Tuesday unless I get angsty this weekend is it paper i have no idea i think it's um i think it's probably the best to think about it like collection so it's probably paper pens like a collection of whatever they're doing and um, that's not all i can remember <sighs> stretching my lenten discipline don't buy extraneous things so if not shipping till close to after Easter, so order now and be billed at shipping right? No, we bill at purchase. If you're talking about spoke. Pretty much anything I do, you you are billed when you order it. But like you do not have to rush and, and get this. I would wait till after Lent. Like we're in back order till we're in nib back order till April anyway. We have the pens. So I wouldn't rush even remotely. Think about trying to rush an order in. So they should start writing them. <laughs> Who did I do that for? It was only by a day. It was pretty funny though. I enjoyed that. Yeah, definitely wait. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, I showed y'all this, right? I showed y'all this. New new lookout. Did we go did we go over this last week or Tuesday? Yeah. Well I got the I got another new case in. And this is just a fun one that I've wanted a long time ago. Um we got our next pencil pouch in. So this is the Tombow Mono one hundred pencil pouch. So with gold I'll show you on the thing. Rainbow brass down though. I'll show you on the thing. This is just a fun storage pouch we do. So th the pencil pouch we made the first time that looked like the pencil was accidental, right? 
we didn't intend on doing that. Um, like we were playing around with fabrics to make um, Sinclair's or Brass Towns or whatever, and we accidentally made a pencil with the gold exterior, uh, the black zipper, or the was it gray zipper, and the pink pull tab for the eraser. I was like, well, hell, it's gonna be a pencil case anyway. It should look like a pencil. So for the second round, why don't we make it after a pencil? Like, why don't we keep the theme up and theme the pencil cases after pencil designs? And I was like, well, how about the black and gold of the Tombow Mono 100, which is an all-time favorite of mine. So that's what we did. So we have the gold stitched label. And you can see the little pencil logo stitched, the pencil stitched in there. Tried to make it Tombow light, but there's only so much you can do with little stitching. <laughs> and you can see like the whole, the whole, uh, the backside of the label is gold, right? So you can see it looks like the gold threads coming through. And then we did a, uh, uh, just like a gold looking um, uh, zipper pull for this. So yeah, that's a, the, the next new item. So all these are going to launch later this month at Knock. Um, once I get my sanity back and get all the stuff shipped, but, uh, what's the liner? The pencil cases don't have liners. So boom, pencil cases are made to get dirty pencil marks all in inside of them. 14 K zipper. Totally. Actually 21 K 14 K zipper, 21 K thread. So this is going to be, this is, we're going to sell this at Tiffany's. Um, this is going to be like $1,500, I think, at, at Tiffany's. So. <laughs> yeah, so we had... Um, so now, like, if this one does well, we'll make another pencil. Maybe we'll do like a poll to see like, okay, what color case do we want to do and what pencil can we make it after, right? So that'll be fun. So like the... Uh, mm -hmm. The Statler Mars Lumograph, right? That blue with the black zipper, that would look really hot. And then, like, maybe a white tag. Brooks, 10 months of subbing. Sell me your Yovo nibs. Everyone yell at Brooks. Give me some nibs. Give me some nibs, Brooks. Just kidding. Thank you, buddy, for, this, for the stuff. Oh, maybe I should just do a Tiffany pouch. Maybe we should just do a uh, high uni burgundy. That would be That would be a good fit. <laughs> Missed anything important? No, we were just talking about the um, the aftermath of the um, spoke pens going on sale yesterday, and it went really well. I mean, for the most part. When I initially saw this, I assumed it was a black wing case. Yeah, I know you're waiting. <laughs> Ravi Shankar pencil bag. That would be cool. We already did a yellow one, though. And we want to make it like a, a historical pencil, like a classic. Government stimulus purchase was a spoke. I love you for that. Maybe it was probably your nib for the spoke. How about the same case, but with dark green fabric and uh, zipper instead of the black? Um, yeah, no, it'd be great. Strings and pedals, long time no see. Are you moving to Boston? I think strings and pedals is moving to Boston. That's why she hadn't been online in a while uh, on, on the stream. I'm going to start a rumor now. Pre-ordered yourself a small axle. Nice. The nib did cost more than this pen and was supporting a small maker. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> you love your waffles too much. That's amazing. Well, good, 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 good. Glad you made it. Um, we were recapping the spoke launch. I have nothing planned today because I'm like, I'm fried from yesterday. Um, so anything y'all want to talk about today, hit me up. Like that's kind of the only new thing I have. I have whatever Staples is sending me. We'll talk about next week. Um, we can talk about barbecue. Um, me and Brooks discussed barbecue on an upcoming friend of the show. It was a little joke I wanted to ha I wanted to have, and we did. Have you guys discussed the paper source thing? Not in specifics, other than pointing everyone to Anna's article. Um, need to teach you Bostonian slang. That's some big time stuff. That's like some serious, serious language issues. Like I couldn't even pretend like, like what I do, uh, would even do Boston slang justice. 
What's the deal with endless pins? I honestly don't know. I've talked to them a little bit over email, and um, I, I don't have anything after that. I don't have anything I can say publicly, at least. Weekend plans. Making pins. I'm going to... I'm working all weekend this weekend. I have not Kickstarter to ship and these and spoke pins to make starting today. And then I don't ship on Fridays because I write on Fridays. And then I'll be back shipping Saturday and Sunday, except going to our socially distanced uh, local college baseball team game on Saturday afternoon. I have a design question. If I design a notebook that I want to see made real, where would I go to talk to someone about a prototype? That's one of the harder questions to ask. Um, because my answer is try your best to find someone local to where you can walk in, test paper, test cover stock, and, and eventually, if it gets that far, see press proofs, right? That's my always my recommendation for um paper products at first like do what you can to find something locally <laughs> do you talk about uh apple Bum coming to boston we did on the podcast yesterday i think it's a really um interesting and positive thing I did. I did. I even emailed Yoast for um, for a, a quote I could use on the podcast. So listen to it. Um, I am very bullish on this decision. I find it to be very interesting and positive for a lot of reasons. So yeah, I, I gave my thoughts on it on the podcast yesterday. I mean, I could rehash it here, but that's that's the short version. Um, you know, I didn't know like how much business Apple Bohm does in the US already. So it just makes logical sense. But just from a business sense, I thought it was uh I thought it was interesting. Y'all gonna come to the shop if I come visit. Once you're able to travel, we might be able to travel and I will definitely go. Ah, my wrist is hurting. Hey Mike. Um, so yeah, I think, um, I think it's very cool. I think it's just, it's a positive trend, right? But I also think extremely highly of what Yoast does from a business perspective to begin with. So this makes a lot of sense. When I see someone that I like, that I follow that I think does really good stuff. And there's a, that's a long list. I'm not singling him out as like the best. I'm saying there's a, there's a big group of those people that I follow and watch what they do. And when they're allowed to make decisions like this in the current market that we're in, I don't see anything but positive. So that's, that's the gist of what I discussed yesterday on the podcast. So I think it's good. I think it's good. So, um, so we'll see once uh, once we're able to travel, get on the road again, see how that goes. Yeah, Brad, would you ever offer a gold nib on the spoke fountain pens? Yeah, we will. Um, you know, it's just like in the beginning, like when we start, since it's not a Kickstarter, we have to manage how much cash we outlay, right? That's why we had. That's why we were limited on nibs, right? It's you got to manage the the money of the products, and since it's not a pre order like a Kickstarter would be, we just can't do all the things at first. But we do plan on doing the things eventually. That gold nib order is going to be money, yeah. Like neither, like as cool as it sounds, neither Brian or I look forward to that day. <laughs> so maybe it never happens because both of us are like oof. That pricing is is something. Like I talked to Brooks about that. He knows. Like it's like, dang, I gotta order five gold nibs. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> do you realize how little that is? But like the cash you have to uh, lay out. Hey, Slumberland Studio, thank you for your orders yesterday. I appreciate you. I think I'm gonna get yours shipped out today. You're pretty early in the queue. Don't know what the minimum order is. 
I mean, it almost doesn't matter what the minimum order is. Because it's still going to be large dollar amounts. Have you tried the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande with the piston? I have. It's great. Um, I that's that's on my short list to review. Um, I just haven't gotten that one in the review queue yet. I have the uh, the primary manipulation Stromboli model. That is my Grande um, Leonardo. So I'll be reviewing that one. I've heard minimum order for nibs logo nibs was five hundred. I forget exactly what it is, but that's why we use Jonathan for our logos. Drive by grandparents' day and the honking horns will not stop. That's kind of amazing. Yeah, so we wouldn't, we can't, like, there's just, you know, outlays of cash involved that we just can't, like, jump on immediately. Yeah, there. I'm surprised there's not a Yovo secondary market right now. <laughs> yeah, so we looked at, plus we like the style of laser etch, etching that Brooks offers better than what we'd get pre-ordered with um, kind of the black background. Like that's, it's called something different. Um, you know all those all those different type styles of nib work um, uh, require something different. Nicole, Arkansas in the house. Sorry I couldn't make it to the uh, to the uh, to the Zoom meet. I'm super crazy right now. <laughs> Too much things. But thank you for asking me. Keep asking. The etch. Etch Boach logo you showed was the sharpest etch logo I've seen. That's all Brooks's work. Resist engraving. Is that what it is when it's like the black background? Like there's different way the, the this is all done. And I, I like Brian knows all the terminology and I'm like, yeah, I just know which looks better. And it's this one. <laughs> your gold net for your Lamy comes today. I got to find my Lamy joy. It's bugging me. I just don't have time to look. Cool net. Eight months of subbing. Let's go. Thank you so much. I appreciate your cool net. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man. My wrist. I haven't been doing my exercises. Y'all should yell at me. I should do them while we're talking. Exercise, exercise, exercise. <sighs> so, yeah. Here we are. Um, What else do you want to talk about? I'm going to... Um, discuss next week. We'll be able to discuss it, but I'm going to save a couple, couple things for Pinac members this weekend. When I write tomorrow, I'm going to talk about some of the new stuff I got going on. Um, can you toss one of those things in the mail for me while you're shipping? Do your exercises nice. Um, not today, but probably this weekend. Stretch reminder. Yeah. Evan Max, 24 months of summer, thank you. Let's go. So I did a thing last night. That was a mistake. That that made me remind remember I wasn't doing my wrist stuff. So Tyler's it's baseball season, right? So we have baseball practice. And I hadn't met his coach yet. And we try to stay socially distanced and, and masked up. And just out of habit, reached in, right? Him and me both just reached in handshake, just out of habit. My wrist, number one, we shouldn't have done that. We should have done like fist bumps or nothing. Um, but number two, my wrist hurt for like 10 minutes after I shook his hand. And it wasn't even like a hard, like I didn't notice the handshake to be hard or anything. I was like, that was a mistake on a lot of levels. Spaceball season. That would be cool. So that reminded me last night I needed to do my uh, do my wrist exercises. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not going to ship that out today, Tony. But this weekend when I ship Pen Addict and Knock stuff, that's when I'll do it. Like I'm not even touching Pen Addict and Knock today. I did some of the Knock uh, Kickstarter cases yesterday. 
before because I normally do those on Wednesdays anyway, so I wanted to make sure I get them. Um, anyway, um, yeah. Sorry, write myself notes here. <sighs> I can set a Slack reminder for you to do your exercises. The only notification I get in Slack is uh, from Mike Hurley. <laughs> That's why I don't see the pen addict. If y'all send me a message in the pen addict Slack, I don't get it unless I physically go in there. Because too many notifications are not good for your brain. My brain is packed enough as it is. Have you shared the breakdown in pen orders? What's the percentage icon versus Axel? We have not yet. So I shared what the first fountain pen order was. Oh, no, I get those um, knock notifications. That's how, that's the only one I get besides the uh, Mike's one. I get Mike's, I get the knock one, and I think that's it. What's Brian's favorite spoke fountain pen? So when I asked this, uh, when we were making this, uh, or having this discussion, um, yeah, Kate, I'm going to get that up right now. Um, when I was looking at the discussion, thinking about what color Brian would made, he sent me a text and it's a blue cap with a gray barrel. So I was right that it would be blue. Conklin Abalone Rose Gold is beautiful. Those do look really pretty in the pictures. Where's the connection info for Arkansas Virtual Pin Show? Nicole, you can feel free to put that in the chat room. We have some people asking about the Arkansas Virtual Pin Show. So please share that information. That would be great. Kate, I am bringing that up right now. <sighs> I've also learned that I need a second charger for my laptop, which I will never buy because they're like oh, stupid money. But I've been running my laptop down, running it all over the house and not plugging it in. Oh, yeah. So the first fountain pen order, is Chris here? Let's see if he's jumped in the chat. I never look at the viewer list. Chris is not here today. First fountain pen order was the icon in cyan and black. So I thought that was pretty cool. The rest of it, as far as the breakdown stuff, I we had to answer Evan. I don't know if I directly answered you yet. We have not broken it down um, yet. I mean, like we we saw like what was the most popular and stuff, but I don't have it in front of me to even like discuss. But I'll, I'll we'll figure something out to see what I can share um, about that. All right, let me get Kate. Is that the beginning? That was the beginning. Almost there, almost there. If this is actually you, if this is who you say you are. Looks like you were 18th. That what if that means I should ship it today. Did you order uh two pins? <laughs> ah, so uh Arkansas virtual pin show the Zoom link will go out closer to the day. If you want to tweet that uh, information to me, I can share it that way. There's actually, just glancing at the names, there's at least six people in this chat room that beat you. <laughs> and when did your order, does it give me a time that the order went in? So you were 18th and you went, you were at 12.06. <laughs> and you were 18th. <laughs> And just glancing at this, I, I see one, two. I'm, I'm going to count now how many people were ahead of Kate just in this room literally right now. One. And I'm not. I'm going to count Chris, too, because he's normally in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
there are there are eight people in this chat room that were ahead of you. <laughs> I think that's funny. Uh, T Tessa was the one of the faster ones. You were the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Carol was second. Uh, Slumberland Studio number two. Chris was first. Uh, Rich Dix was third. Uh, Coach Albino and uh, and Washi Tape, Queen of Washi Tape, and the Inkwell Monster were were all ahead of Kate. But all of y'all's will ship today. I should get enough of those. Um, the one thing I don't know yet is how many fountain pens I can ship in a in a in an hour, right? So when I look at like how many orders I have for knock or regular spoke stuff, and then how much time I ship, I know how many I can ship like 20, 20 25 orders an hour. Like if I'm cranking, if everything's straightforward, this is before fountain pens. I'm thinking I'm it's going to be like half that. Maybe. I don't know. So I haven't test I don't have my timings down for fountain pen shipping, but I've got time. I know I'll I should be able to get out 20 or 30 orders today without pro without problem, but I it's a completely new process um for how I put things together, assemble them instead of grabbing a pen that we've already assembled and putting it in a packing it up and shipping it this one's going to take a little bit more work so it's going to be cut cut down pretty significantly um the quantity i get but like with the amount of orders i have in i hope to get everyone's out by this weekend that would be my goal right because the orders have slowed down now because the nibs are back ordered which is fine so i should be able to get everything out by sunday i don't really see me any reason that wouldn't happen so even if you're not, uh, you know, at, at full on uh, Slumberland Studio or Tessa speed, it should be fine. Should be fine. But I, I think the funniest point, Kate, was that you were 18th, but you were only six minutes after launch. It was really more like four minutes after launch because we didn't get things going to like 12.01, 12.02, and your order was in at 12.06. I didn't look at any of that. That's pretty hilarious. I love it. So thank you all. So yeah, we turned. I put it on uh, Twitter that we um, that we turned off the nibs twenty minutes after we started. So y'all can do the math. It's pretty fast. All right, let's do a giveaway. Um, Galantium, did you hear me earlier about emailing me about this notebook? If you want it, I'm guessing. Okay, cool. All right, so let me give, uh, let me add to my shipping pile. Pew, pew, pew. I, I finally just turned off. My phone is blowing up this morning, so I finally just put it on silent. Sorry. You already did it? Good. I don't check my email. My email. Man, if I owe y'all an answer. Oh, Sarge Lee 71 gift sub. How did I miss that? Because my alerts are off. Son of a gun. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Sorry for missing that. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I look stupid drinking from a straw in the camera. So yeah, I'm going to add to my shipping workload <laughs> by giving away more stuff. Um, let's go for a pen. We did paper to Galantium. We'll do, we'll do two more things today. There was something I saw in here yesterday that I wanted to give away. I'm I'm not doing this right now. I'm totally giving away this Sailor Fountain Pen Cleaning Kit. So you just wait. Some One of y'all is going to win that. That's going to be a big day. Big day on the giveaways when I give that one away. All right, let's give this away. Give that. Sailor cleaning kit. Yeah, I'm giving that away one day. Ooh, not giving that away. Tessa would probably be mad. Maybe I'll just give it away to Tessa. Oh, look at this. This is cool. 
right. I'm going to do two, two giveaways here. First one, uh, we need to branded PA booger suckers. That is not a terrible idea. I, I, that is actually such a good idea. I'm going to write that down. Certainly one of those swaggy places I can get it from, right? Like one of those gift deals. Corporate gift type of things. Do y'all have any of those branded booger <laughs> suckers? They must be orange. I've never seen anything besides white and blue. If we could get them orange. Orange, question mark? Like, I wouldn't be able to order enough of those. Huh. Yeah, Oriental Trading Company. Yeah, that's probably right. Hmm. If anyone, if anyone wants to do that research and tell me where to get branded booger suckers, orange or not, I will 100% order them. You've seen mint green? All right. First thing, this is a cool pencil I bought at um, Archer Paper Goods in Atlanta at the last Atlanta pen show, which was, what, 2019. And I never did anything with it. I thought I was going to review it. But it's this Oto... Um, it's this giant Oto two millimeter pencil, but it's basically like a clutch pencil, right? It's like a mechanical two millimeter, but it's styled like a cool orange jumbo pencil. So these are really neat. Like I just never got around to reviewing it and probably never will. So I should give it away. It's it's pretty cool. Apparently I paid $13.55 for it because there's still a price tag on the back, but I know I got it at Archer Paper. Um, which is a cool shop if you're ever in Atlanta traveling at the Pont City Market. Um, if you've ever been to Pont, Pont City Market, um, that's where Archer Paper is. So let's do this giveaway. Yeah, I bought it because I like clutch pencils and that those two millimeter leads and things like that. And I just never got around to using it. So I could say I'm going to do it, review it one day. That's probably why it sat around so long is because I kept saying I'm going to review it, review it, review it. And um, just never, never got around to it. So might as well give it away, right? Whoops. Oh, you, I, yeah, I give away, I have a lot of mechanical pencils to give away. All right. Um, oops, I didn't reset the entries. Let's do that real quick. Yeah, this isn't really a traditional clutch type pencil but it's the same kind of idea all right there we go And then I'll do one more giveaway after this. And then we'll call it a day and I'm going to get to shipping. <laughs> Saw a Snapple up there. Oh, is Tony trying to rig the giveaway? Tony trying to break it? <laughs> Pretending to enter. I have like four Kurotogas and Pintels and Rotrings. I have, here's one you can uh, count on another day. So I bought all these. Um, I'm a big fan of the Alvin Draftmatic. And I have the, um, the Mab Graves editions. She did it like two years ago. I have a whole set for me, but I bought two sets to give away. So this will be like, we're not going to give this away today, but um, this is one of my favorite pencils. So we'll give this away another day. But yeah, this is the 0.7. So I I bought, uh, 
I bought them all for me, and then I bought some for y'all too. Didn't they go bankrupt or something? Who, Alvin? I haven't. Just got your Kuratoga. The Kuratogas are great. Brad, I wonder if, where I fell in the uh, in the orders. Uh, I can check. I sent you a set too. Yeah, I had a lot of them. <laughs> it's an awesome pencil. Or maybe I kept one. I need a good blue gel refill. That's the hardest. I, I don't like the standard uh, blue gel refills of anyone, to be honest. Oh, Draftmatic's about to stop being produced? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to check. I, I was in contact with them at one point for a... Uh, hang on. I'll... I'll uh, let's see who won this raffle while I look up uh, Tina's. HM Hedges. I just sent your last ink, I think. <laughs> I think. No, that was H. Hells. H.M. Hedges, speak now. Shoot me an email. Hello at... Uh... They exist in orange? Amazing. Maybe I should just get... Maybe I should just sell just orange ones. So H.M. Hedges... You have to email me at hello at pinac.com. Tina, I promise I'm looking. <laughs> Tau Max. Nine months of summon. Thank you so much. Hey, Claire. How's it going? All right. Let's see here. Oh, they're ten dollars each. Medical supply companies will get you. Yeah, we're not doing that. Although I should just like Tiffany up those. I just should just make them twenty dollars. As a joke. All right, so we have this. Hang on, I'm sorting it out. I've got it here. I'm just kind of seeing where it is in the in the thing, in the queue. I think it's pretty early. Oh yeah, you're like way early. Let's see. Well, not way early. Maybe like thirtieth. Twenty fifth, twenty fifth or so. So I might get that today. Be close. So I will probably get that today. All right, then we got one more, um, one more giveaway to do, real quick here. One second, let me check something. All right. So you mark them up to twenty. Why not? Why stop there and add a ster sterling silver trade to rest it on? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'll just autograph them because I'm pretentious like that. Y'all know me, right? Then we'll just charge like 50 bucks per booger sucker. Orange autographed booger suckers. 50. Boom. Did you get the final pencil box? I did. I haven't opened it yet. Let's open it on Tuesday. Oh, let me write this down. HM Hedges. Alibaba has tons of them. I need someone to brand them. Who can I send them to? Spoilers, there were no pencils in there. Son of a gun. Hey, the raffle's not running right now. Chill. Y'all can relax. It's about to come in a second. I, I appreciate your, your anxiousness. I bet if you found the right one, you could get 500 Brandon pretty cheap. Cheap? Yeah. 
Yeah, we want to do orange Pen Attic logo booger suckers for a Pen Attic swag item. So I'm, I've, I've put the community to source them for me. <laughs> Ain't nobody done that. All right, let's, uh, next giveaway is a classic product of mine. One of the great, you have to print the logo before the final shape. I bet you're right. I bet I could get someone to do it after market. You know, one of those corporate branded things. They do all kinds of crazy stuff. Burger suckers. Excited for your icon. Thank you, Caffeine Rose. Caffeine Dose. <laughs> Caffeine Rose. Could be that too. Um, this is one of the coolest things I've ever made. I think I'm going to make some more of these. These sold out immediately fast. They were very expensive. They're, it was a very long process to get these Kukuyo sketchbooks with the Pen Attic logo on them. And I found like two or three here in the box. Um, yeah, these are one of the coolest things or one of my favorite things that I've ever made. Um, it's the classic sketch note, sketchbook from Kukuyo. But we got them. They have a logo program. And then I had to get my Japanese friends to translate all this and run point on this to have a Japanese shipping address to send them to, to forward them to me. It was a whole nightmare, which made them very expensive. Like, I don't know they, how much were they? They're like eight or $9 each or something like that. They're crazy expensive, but y'all loved them. I love them. I will do this again. If I can get all the uh, management part done um, from having a Japanese address to ship them to. Uh, last time I could do it, this time, you never know. Like, people did me a favor last time. They're just killer. Just one of the coolest things. So let's do this. All right, so this is for one of these. I have, I've saved some more to give away later. Um... Okay, y'all should do that. Um, let me see. Did I miss a few questions here? <sighs> so yeah, what I would love to do is do the orange cover one. Like they do some colored covers, like they did, they launched like six colors, but those are even more expensive to logo stamp. Like, I think they would cost like twice as much. It was something crazy. So like I, I eliminated, eliminated that option from the jump. Gave a few as gifts. Very cool. I have to ask the new, newbie question. What's the booger sucker? What's the use for the booger sucker? That's a killer question. It's for pen cleaning. So for fountain pens, you unscrew the nib section. So you have your, your little nib section. You fill the booger sucker with water and you put it into the back end of that nib section. We'll do a demonstration one day. And you squeeze it. It basically pressures water to clean out the front end of a fountain pen better. So it's like a high pressure instead of like running a nib under a faucet you can just sh shove this water through it's really great and it's fun <laughs> it's just one of those pen cleaning to tools yeah the formal formal term is bulb syringe but we're not formal around here so but everyone knows every, who has kids especially knows them as booger suckers yeah that kind of booger sucker yeah have a three-year-old nephew no, it's, it's probably the one your three-year-old nephew uses. There's a tip, though. There's a special tip if you're buying your own booger suckers. You have to get the silicone versions, not the plastic versions. The plastic ones crack in the middle. Silicone versions. I got mine from the baby owl, absolutely. Silicone ones are usually blue. They're squishier, and they bounce back better, right? So the, the plastic ones tend to split in the seam if you use them too much. So, I had to label my pen when, when my kids were little. <laughs> Use a children's medical syringe. Yeah. Nice. 
but yeah, it's it's the perfect pen cleaning tool. All right, uh, let's pick a winner here. Tam Servo, winner. Oh, I could the winner's here too. I should look on there. All right, Tam Servo, you need to reply here. Say hi. I won. Whoop. And then you need to email me. Oh snap! You need to email me at hello at penaddict.com with your shipping address. And congratulations, this is a very cool notebook. All right. We should do uh we should do mystery science theater on like one of our fountain pen friends um youtube videos like stephen browns or something we should do like a <laughs> mystery science theater <laughs> oh fig boot he would appreciate that we do mystery science theater on fig boot that would be awesome <laughs> he would get a kick out of that too <laughs> Yeah, Fig Boot would be the one. I'll have to think about that. That would be hilarious. All right. Let me reset that. All right. Y'all need anything else from me today? We're going to wrap it up here. Um, just so I can get, um, I got to get started shipping. Um, all afternoon shipping. I'm going to go for the next three or four hours just until I get... Um, Repeat the winners for today were HM Hedges and Tam Servo out of these two raffles. Um, so I'm going to get what I can get done till about 3 o'clock so I can make it to the post office in time. Then I'm probably not shipping again until Saturday. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for orders. We put like three to five business days like on all my sites just because like I'm one person doing it. I can't ship every day. So we'll say three to five business days for orders. Um, but I, if I'm a betting man and I am, I think by Sunday I can get at least all the spoke orders done. That's the plan. And then have, then keep going on the knock orders as well for the, um, Kickstarter campaign, which I'm close. I'm like 180 orders left on that, which is good. Um, Sorry you have to spend the money to ship to Toronto. I'm glad to do it. Like, literally. Like, y'all do this for me. Y'all show up here to come hear me ramble about pens and pencils. It's the least I could do to return the favor to ship worldwide um, for, for products that should be in y'all's hands. That's it. Biggest congrats for the spoke success. We created good things. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Slumberland, thank you. Brad, thank you for everything you do. You make a difference. Make a joy. You, uh, thanks for the joy. I really appreciate that. I try. Like, uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm dragging today. <laughs> I'm mentally dragging. I'm like, whoa. Um, so uh, I, I appreciate all the support. Always do. And, um, you know, always love the feedback, good or bad. Like, we can take it here. And um, let's just try to, you know, make cool things and have fun. Like, that's the deal. Poor Penman. Wax canvas cases are phenomenal. Got mine in. Thank you so much for saying that. I really appreciate it. They came out really good. Like, not going to lie. Wait. Oh, what are we betting? I don't know. What's the bet? What did I, what did I bet you a cyan body purple sleeve? icon that you can't what get out all the orders just remember i only have 99 nibs i can do 99 orders i can make 99 pins between now and sunday fact it's been a nice break from all the corporate initiative <laughs> initiative i'm sending more than that andrew there's there is a little bit of uh adjustment as you're alluding to um so I can definitely do that many between now and Sunday. Plus I have other standard orders. I got to fill pencil and pen orders. Um, and then like I'm ahead. I need to inspect a next batch of wax canvas Sinclairs. I'm up to date on brass towns. Um, I'll be under a hundred orders left on the Kickstarter by the weekend. Also fact fill. Write down my facts. We can we can fact check me on Tuesday. I will ship any 
spoke fountain pens until I'm out of nibs. So let's say 100 spoke orders. And then I'll have less than 100 Kickstarter orders left to fill for knock before we talk again. Y'all can book that. Book it. Got to come up with a special brag grind with a nib smith, snib smith for the smoke FPs. Spoke FPs. That's a really good idea. Like, I will think about it. Like, that's that's been on my radar already. Um, just because I think it would be cool. And then um, it would be something really, like, obnoxiously cool and expensive. So, yeah, we'll think about that. Has your son paid off his debt yet, or is he going to be helping? He will be helping. He's He's got 47 hours to go. He's been slacking. I'm not letting him off the hook either. Would the Brad grind be something you like or something you think would be popular? Uh, it would be something I like, which would mean it would not be popular, which would mean it would be a bad business decision, right? <laughs> to invest in in something. Just think about this. You could get the same grind for cheaper that I would be reselling and having to mark up, right? So think about why this isn't like a great business decision or a great consumer decision, right? <laughs> unless I unless I order a huge amount, amount for a discount, you're going to be paying a premium because I am then marking it up, right? So, but it's fun to think about. I would love to do that. All right. <clears throat> we got it i think we got it i think we're done today chat y'all are great thank y'all so much thanks again for all the support feedback keep it coming and uh yeah i'm gonna get to work bye